In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet a square so that you can make this square Christmas ornament. Oh, hello. Thank you so much for checking out my channel here today. I am going to make some Christmas ornaments and I'm so excited that you decided to join me. So please subscribe to my channel. I do post often and it's now Christmas time so I'm really excited to put some Christmassy things for you to make. This is a very easy project and you will be crocheting three basic shapes. There will be a square, there will be a pentagon and there will be a hexagon. So I have a series of four videos that you can watch to accomplish these three beautiful little things. So video one will be telling you on how to do a square, video two will be showing you how to do a pentagon and then video three is how I do the hexagon. And finally on video four, that's where we take all the shapes. I have about nine shapes here, as you can see on the board, that we will soak them on fabric stiffener, make them nice and hard and lay them out on the styrofoam so that they look nice and sturdy and beautifully laid out for you. And then at the end of video four, I just give you my idea on how to make the string yeah, and it will be ready for you to just go ahead and decorate your Christmas tree. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. Please also join my Facebook group. It's called Crochet with Angela, Isa and Beyond. And you might find it interesting to be part of a community where other people are crocheting and showing their projects. And I would be delighted to see your projects. So share with me and with the other people that are in the group. And so that you're not alone, that we are sharing with, you know, people who love the craft and maybe encouraging other people to love the craft as well. With a 3.75 millimeter hook and with yarn that is size three or also known as sport weight yarn, go ahead and chain four. My first three chains become my knot. One, two, three. So I hold it here, pull the string and there we go. That formed one chain right there. So I'm going to do three more, three and four. Now join with a slip stitch to the first chain you made. So simply insert the hook there, grab the yarn and pull through. This forms a ring. Right, it's a tiny ring, so make sure that you know where the center of the ring is because that's where you want to continue your work. And my yarn is escaping here, so let me just do that again. There we go. Round one, chain three. One, two, three. Two double crochets into the ring, so find that center. And I always like to keep the beginning yarn tucked into my crochet. So later on, I just cut it off. I don't have to actually weave it in. And another one. Good. Now note that here I have a group of three double crochets. However, the first three chains, they technically aren't a double crochet, but they are considered as a double crochet. All right, so make sure that you remember that because that's a rule that applies for every round. Now chain two and you do three double crochets in the ring. Chain two, another three double crochets into the ring. So what you're looking into here is that you will have four groups of three double crochets into the ring. Once it's ready, you will see clearly how it looks. So I did a three, another chain two, and here we go. One more group of three double crochets coming up. And there we go. So that was round one. So as you can tell, it already looks like a square and these are your corners right there. These chain two spaces, 
those are your corners. So for us to finish up this round, we need to join things here, right? So that it actually looks like a square. So for you to do that, you must do another chain two, all right? And we join to the beginning of the row. Now the beginning of the row here was three double, I'm sorry, three chains, correct? So what I need you to look at carefully here is that you count the first chain, there is the second chain, and there is the third chain. Okay, so the third chain lands pretty much right on top of the second double crochet here. So careful that you don't insert here, right? This is where I want you to insert, all right? Okay, so let's go back here. Insert right there at the top, literally at the top of the second double crochet. Insert, grab the yarn, and slip through. There we go. We finished row one. Now what we did here, we set up your square. So these are your corners, and it's upon these chain two spaces that the corners of this square are going to be built up. We are ready to go to row two, but every row in, in this square here starts on a chain two space. So you are here and the chain two space is here. So there's too much space between. So you can't just skip from here to here. So the key here is that you slip stitch until you get there, until you get to the chain two space. So we slip stitched here all right, which is the top of the second double crochet. Now slip stitch on the next stitch, which is on top of the third double crochet. So slip stitch there too. Very good. Now slip stitch one more time right into the chain two space. There we go. Wonderful. You got to the chain two space. All right and you're ready to start row two. Very good. Every row starts with a chain three. So here we go. One, two, three. Two double crochets into the chain two space. There we go. That's your first group of three double crochets. Chain two, and another three double crochets into that same space. Good. There we go. One corner done. So row two works exactly like that. You're going to do these, you know, um, it's actually six double crochets with a chain two in between. Three, chain two, and three. So you got to do that in every single round, right? And that will form four corners very clearly. But from here to here, all right, you need to have some space here, okay? So what you're going to do before you start the same group, this same pattern of three, two chains and three double crochets here, you need to chain one. Just like that. So this is a chain one space. And remember that this chain one space that's going to form here is very important for row three. All right. Chain one done. Go ahead and do three double crochets on the next chain two space. Chain two. All right, another corner done. Okay, see it? So what's happening here is that your corners are always going to be built with three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets. Every corner needs to have that. So what happened here from this corner to this corner is that you created a chain one space because you chained one in between. That chain one space is important, super important for the next row. We're going to get there in just a moment. All right, so now we repeat that same idea. We're going from one quarter to the other. We chain one, and here we go. Let's do three double crochets. <clears throat> chain two. 
then chain two another three double crochets now we're going to the next corner same idea chain one before you go there and here we go three double crochets chain two and three double crochets good all right so we are practically done here with our round two so what we need to do we need to join the round to the top right there to the top remember way there is the second there is the chain three and there is the second double crochet so at the top of that double crochet that's where we want to insert all right but we need to chain one first so that we create the chain one space all right so here we go where is that second double crochet right there so right on top of it is the stitch you're looking for slip stitch and there we go your round is done all right now we're going to go into row three and things are going to change a little bit here on row three but the idea of starting row three is just the same now from you know from here nothing changed so you're going to slip stitch on the next stitch and you're going to slip stitch on the next chain two space you're going to start your row just like you started the other row you chain three two double crochets remember that that first chain three counts as a double crochet chain two and three double crochets now you're going to notice that suddenly your next corner is farther away and now that there is a hole in between so this hole here 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 and here are you know they were formed with the chain ones that you did between the corners but you can't now skip from here to here you got to do something in that hole and in this case here you're going to double crochet three times into the chain one space here so now you are dealing with chain one spaces and chain two spaces the chain two spaces are always your corners while the chain one space is what is in between before you hit the chain one space here and do the three double crochets there chain one now you do three double crochets one two and three chain one and now you got to the second corner and here you do the same thing you have been doing for all the corners three double crochets two chains and three double crochets so no news here there we go we got to deal with that chain one space chain one and we're gonna go for three double crochets right into it chain one and you landed on the third corner chain two very good now we chain one and fill in that space so remember that the chain ones come after and before you do the corners right and then when you are working on the corner that's when you are doing a chain two very good one two excellent so we are getting towards the end of round three one more group of three double crochets here and then we are going to join finish off and we're gonna call it done <laughs> chain one here we go where is the top of that second double crochet right careful that you really visualize that because it could be easily go there but it's there all right okay so my Christmas ornament only requires three rows all right so here it is right so we take um, scissors leave just a little bit left pull in the string tighten it this one here 
I, when I was doing my round one, I kind of crocheted that string into it. So I simply snip it off so I don't have to weave it in. Now in this case, I want to weave that end in so that it doesn't show. So grab a needle with a big eye and a dull point. And what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna, here at the top, go around. Just don't pull too much, otherwise, otherwise it shrivels up. I kind of go through the chain right there until right at the end of the next three double crochets. Make sure it's nice and loose. There we go. Snip off and your square is ready. Good job. I like to stiffen my ornaments, so go ahead and watch the video on the link that is shown to you right now. And there I explain to you how we stiffen this up so that it's nice and sturdy and not curling up in any way. So that when you want to hang your ornament, it stays steady. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project.